This is the true story of 11 leaders picked to work on a team and had their lives taped to find out what happens when people stop holding back and start speaking up. We're at our state's capital. It's now or never to surface these issues for over one million people. The, the real world Tallahassee! <laughs> <laughs>
So confession one, shopping. Confession two, changing my hair a lot. Confession three, wait, no? Okay, okay. Oh, I love my position. And I applied for my position thanks to our last president, Maria Jose, who said it at the last conference how if you're a student, stand up. If you're going to be coming to the, con if you're going to be in the school, in school next year, stand up. And then I was just like up for the whole thing. And I just realized, why am I not running? So I ran for a District 2 coordinator position, and I got it. Yeah, yeah. You guys love me. I know. I love you guys, too. And, yeah, it, the best part of the position is just, like, it comes naturally to me. But the position is not, like, people make it out to be. It is not tough at all. I think it made me softer, you could say, because the position is very... It's, it is fast-paced. You have to be on your feet all the time, but it's still fun to do, and I love my position. You should apply. So it's actually pretty funny that how it actually started for me. I wasn't sure that I was going to run until district dinners, and even then I really wasn't very sure at state conference. I was nominated for district three coordinator, and I accepted the nomination, and then one of my colleagues says to me, you know, you'd make a really excellent state president. I said, you're joking. I don't, I don't believe you. But the first thing I did was I went and asked Marjorie, what are the top three qualities of a state president? And when she listed the qualities, I said, I have what those qualities are. So after much thinking and praying, I submitted an application. And a day before the election, I started campaigning. And it turned out to be the best decision I ever made in my life. And I thank God and my family and the organization for believing in me and electing me. How I became district coordinator. Um, I started off going to the January district meeting at Broward North, and I was there looking at the, the organization, just becoming familiar, familiar with the organization, and I thought, wow, I'd love to do this. I always have a passion for stepping up, being a leader, being a leader, you know, standing out, advocating, and I thought, I think I'd make an excellent coordinator, and I started out, said, okay, let me try for assistant, because I don't want to overwhelm myself, and at the state conference, I had my application in for assistant. And I was there at the district meeting, and it just hit me. I was like, why am I going for assistant? I need to be coordinator. And I changed my application from coordinator, and ever since then, it, ha it has been a wonderful opportunity, something that I wouldn't give up for the world, and something that I love and appreciate, the fact that I represent such a beautiful group of students. Come on guys, it's my turn in the confession booth. Oh.